Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Doug Working. This is going to be a quick video as the Phillies look to carry their hot streak into tonight against the New York Metropolitans in New York in City Field. As they look to carry the fact that they were finally able to fully get the offense together to go now to ten to ten and ten, excuse me, on the season, moving into this evening's ball game that is at seven ten p.m. That's going to be Tyler McGill versus Aaron. Nola. So if you that if you were going out to tonight's game in New York and you travel to New York, you might see a very good pitching matchup potentially tonight. But yesterday, I think a big key for the Phillies was Zach Wheeler was able to actually yes, he had that battle bunny fifth inning that you don't love to see, but he was really able to hone it in more in this game in terms of having the more nasty looking stuff he just has to get his command down more coming back from this injury and then he's really set hand pitched fine Norwood put pitched very good and has only had one bad outing all season Bellotti's continued to impress and then Damon Jones is kind of a filler uh, just that innings for your guy are there so that's what he did obviously then on Wednesday Ranger Suarez another key pitched his fantastic best game of the season as well as Ranger was able to go six innings and he only walked one and was able to have three strikeouts and pitch a good control the strike zone allow the fielders to get it done game and that's exactly how he was able to go those six innings and the Phillies were able to get seven because Oduble homered Oduble had a sacrifice fly Oduble got to give credit where credit's due he has been great since coming back Nick Castellanos grounded out and all that Garrett Stubbs even tripled so it's great when you see your backup catcher we have two of probably the fastest catchers in baseball be able to get a triple and do that and then Boehm of course signaled where Alec Boehm who's been sharp and a very fun guy to watch hitting uh, this season was able to get that done and then the game prior Zach Eflin so the big thing takeaway from the series obviously as you see before we get into previewing the next series is the pitching finally also on top of the hitting really pitched well and this is exactly what you want to see your starters do as Eflin going with the theme pitch six good innings Nelson came in, Bellotti came in again, and Jones came in again, and they were able to get it done. Where in this one, Didi had a good game, Bone continued to hit, uh, Oduble continued to hit, Segura pitched in, and Oduble again had a home run in that game. So they were able to get it done. And in the first game, Kyle Gibson was able to pitch a gem again, who's really been the best pitcher for the Phillies thus far this season, where he pitched five and two-thirds, a wee bit shy of six innings for our Philadelphia Phillies. But that still was plenty good enough as Dominguez came in, dominated them. Familia came in, dominated them. Norwood came in, dominated them. And then even Bailey Falter came in and dominated them in that game. So the dominating pitching, even in the bullpen, combined with the fact that the Phillies were able to get the, you're not going to average seven runs, obviously, but were able to get the more 4.5 up runs that you expect this offense to average per game. That was key to see in that last series against the Colorado Rockies. Now we have Nola going against McGill. This is a great pitching matchup. The Phillies have to be able to continue this keen, just staying sharp in the zone, not over swinging on pitches as well that they were doing a little bit more earlier in the season prior to this last Rockies series and before getting this key series sweep. So I believe it's all key on those things and then the Phillies are going to be able to carry this through into playing the New York Mets because as we come in the records are 14 and 6 the Mets are one of the best starting teams in the league to 10 and 10 for the Phillies tomorrow it is Taewon Walker which would be I believe in his first game of the season um this year oh no 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 it wouldn't be his first game of the season. he's in he's pitched in one game of the season but has only pitched two innings coming back so he's only pitched two innings thus far. And that match against our most consistent guy, Kyle Gibson. So I feel pretty good about that game that's on FS1, apparently. And then the game that's on ESPN for Sunday Night Baseball is Eflin coming off of his best start of the season against Mad Max Serger. So we obviously don't have the uh, advantage pitching matchup in that. But I would argue in the second game we have the advantage pitching matchup with Kyle Gibson against Walker. And the first game with how McGill's pitched this season, 3-0, 2-7, 2-3-5. On the surface, obviously, career-wise, Noel is the better pitcher. But in terms of recency, I think that kind of evens out that matchup. But I think this might be a pitcher's duel tonight that whoever gets to three or maybe four runs is going to be able to win the game. Tomorrow, I think the Phillies might be able to tee off against Walker because he's still trying to get back into his groove. He's a great pitcher, but not you know, he only pitched two innings this year. And he's not going to have the greatest command probably of the strike zone. Scherzer, obviously, that's the guy you don't want to be down 0-2 in a series, so the Phillies have to win at least one of these first games of the series, as far as I'm concerned, to be able to at least come out without getting swept in this series, because obviously you're not going to 
beat Mad Max only in the third game if the Mets are running high on momentum. But I feel really good about this series, honestly. I think the Phillies are going to have a chance to win two out of three, but I expect them to take at least one out of three against the Mets at home. And I would even take that because then if they dominate them at Citizens Bank Park and win all the series at Citizens Bank Park, then it's going to balance out anyway. But anyway, this has been a preview and also talking about the past series of the Rockies and what the Phillies have to carry into tonight. The hot bats combined with the great pitching. That's going to be keen to success. And also Alec Bohm continuing to look better fielding-wise. And this team as a whole continuing to not screw themselves over in the field, but still not be the greatest fielding team, but definitely not screwing themselves over. So that's a key as well. But this has been the key to the series against the New York Mets. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please go subscribe down below or up above them. The easiest way to keep the channel growing. 2.30 or more by the end of April. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this for it. Peace, everybody.